Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I got the N01 from BSP. It's not written BSP anywhere, but then you look at the box, it is the BSP box. And I've already unboxed this one, but I put it back into the box to show you guys how it feels like to unbox it for the first time. You can get this thing for around like 20 to 25 bucks. And I got it for around like 21 bucks. Okay? Let me unbox it. So you get the manual, the Type C cable, and the controller. And it comes with the stick protectors. And there it is membrane buttons, membrane D pad. That feels bad. It's supposed to be hall triggers and hall sticks I think they usually use K silvers I took one apart I think the BSP D8 before they use K silvers and that's the type C pass through I've tested that one out as well it does shows fast charging on my device and that's the spring that keeps your device in place and this feels really like a toy Oh my god. I just say just add maybe 10 more bucks and get this one. The Easy SMX M15s, I think. M15 or M10s, I forgot about it. But this thing is way smaller. Stretches about the same, I think. Let's see. Yeah, not that much different and this one goes for around 32 bucks so i think uh, it's called the m10 i have it written over there it's 32 bucks 32 to like 37 bucks i got it on a discount i think 32 bucks and the macro buttons over here this has a way better finish the plastic has feels way better it has like grippy back and I do I do think it does come with like hall sticks and hall triggers this is a way better controller or if you want to go with a bit more reputable brand just go with the Gamesir X2s it's a bit dusty these are really good I've had this for around I think one and a half years two years and it still works fine the USB tilts are uh, another thing on this this thing over here doesn't move doesn't tilt you're gonna end up breaking this or you're gonna end up dam damaging your USB C port on your device this is important okay this is a way better controller it costs around the same as the Easy SMX M10 or go and get yourself the Mimo S3 from I think Mimo the brand this one over here this is the tablet version of the Mimo S3 and it just cost I think 10 more bucks it's close to like 40 USDs and this is a way better controller than the whatever I showed before and way better than this one and it fits tablets and it's able to stretch even further and good plastic mechanical buttons I think hall sticks and hall triggers yeah the whole deal and it's just like 15 bucks more than the this one over here now let's go and try fitting some devices in see what fits and what doesn't let's start with the K70 Pro from Redmi it's a 6.7 inch device an average size device uh, it has a case on it's not that thick or that thin let's try fitting it in it doesn't tilt so if you have phones with cases on you might have to put them in this way like 
stretch them out from the other side and then try fitting it in okay here you go oh it fit easily fit why does this blink not sure why why is this one blinking and it had lights on it and another thing if you left your device in it it doesn't go into sleep mode and it drained 20 percent of the battery from this k70 pro when i left it when i was testing it with this so it fits no issue why is it blinking it wasn't blinking before let's try changing the mode it has like a mode changing toggle over here right now it's an x input it should work in x input so right now i'm going to be switching to m5 i think the one on the other side is the shooting v3 app so it's the screen mapping app so screen mapping uh, apple and x input so okay the m5 works i think it detects it as a playstation controller this works okay uh, let's try fitting in another device this one is a smaller 6 inch Mimix 2S from Xiaomi this should fit no problem I have a really thin case on it and it's a very slim phone slim bezels maybe this one fits because it has a slim case I don't have to like stretch it first. Yep, this fits. Okay, this works. Let's see if the X input works. Hmm, it turned to green. But does it work? Okay. Still, it on, it's only the M5 that's working. Why isn't the X input working? Let me unlock the device. Yeah, the X input is not working. Maybe I have to like put it back in because. not working the X input is not working so far yeah the M5 one works so it, it only detects the M5 which is the PlayStation controller that's weird X input should work on all these devices okay let's try the ROG phone 6 that's the big boy. You can see over here. Let's try putting it in. I don't think so it will fit with the case. Nope. Ooh, it won't fit with the case. Let me take out the case. Okay, the USB is right over here. Yeah, I'm able to fit it in. Yep, it goes in. Right now it's in my fi Yeah, it works in my fi Let's change it to X input. No, oh, still not working on X input. What the hell? Oh, it works. So on the ROG Phone 6, it works. That's inconsistent. But then it looks weird. It flexes bad. It works. Okay, now let's try putting a tablet in. I know it won't work. This tablet is way bigger than this. Okay, my favorite controller. Let's take this one out. Will it even stretch? Let's see down here nope it won't
Yeah, you won't. So, should you get this? No, you shouldn't. Uh, this is like one of the worst controllers that I've tested from BSP. Quality is quite bad. It's cheap, but then it's still still not worth the twenty bucks or twenty something bucks you're gonna spend on it. You should just get the. If you ask me, just add fifteen to twenty more bucks and get this one. This fits almost all devices. You can see over here it shows you what buttons to press when you want to change mode. It has a Bluetooth mode, although it doesn't have a battery inside. If your device, I think if it's an iPhone or something, if if it doesn't in detect the X input, you can change it into the Bluetooth mode and it, your iPhone will detect it. Mechanical buttons, mechanical D-pad, hall sticks and hall triggers. And it stretches way further. Get this one. Anything but this one. This is fine. This is also fine. Not this one. I've seen that BSP is gonna come out with the N2, which should be a snapping telescopic Type C controller. I think all the the N indicates that it's a Type C controller from BSP. The D is the D series is for those Bluetooth tel telescopic controllers. That looked way more higher quality, and this is this just feels like a toy. Let's get that one. That one should be more expensive because I saw that it's gonna have uh, mechanical face buttons and maybe trigger uh, D-pad. But don't get this one. I ha I think I have like some screenshots of the or a video of the BSP N02, which I think looks good, but. I'm not sure how good the plastic quality is going to be because BSP is hit and miss with their plastic quality. Well, that's it. Bye guys.